Hi guys, welcome to my next tutorial. Today I would like to show you a short video with pattern for the for a snowflake. And uh, for this tutorial you will need a crochet 3D yarn. I use the crochet hook 1.5 mm. You will need also a few bits. I will show you how to add the bits. For this uh, project I use glue gun. Our work we have to start by making a magic ring. So first we have to make big loop. Then into the big loop we have to take the yarn and then chain one. This chain one is not count as any stitch. Now into the loop we have to work 16 double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, and 16. Now we have to close the loop a little bit and we need to make slip stitch into the first single crochet, uh, double crochet, sorry. Now chain of three, this will be first double crochet, then chain of two as a chain two space and into the same stitch as we've done slip stitch we need to work one more double crochet. So we've done two double crochets and chain two space. Now we have to skip the next stitch and into the next one we will work this stitch again. So double crochet, chain two and the double crochet. So, yeah, basically we are working this stitch. Now we have to skip the next one and into the second we have to work this stitch again. So at the end of our round we have to... at the end of our round we should have eight V stitches. So skip the next one and into the second make this stitch again. Double crochet, chain two, and then double crochet. At the end of our round, we have to make slip stitch into the top of chain three. So, so don't forget, uh, we've done two more chains for making chain two space. Now we have to go into the chain two space by making slip stitch into the chain two space and now chain of three, one, two, three. This will be first double crochet and then we have to make another one double crochet into the same chain two space. Chain of three, one, two, three and then two more double crochets into the same chain two space. One and two. So we've done two double crochets, chain three and two double crochets. Chain one. We have to go to the next chain two space and we need to make again two double crochets. Chain three and two double crochets. One and two. Chain one into the next stitch again. Two double crochets, chain two, three and another two double crochets. So two double crochets, chain three and two double crochets. 
So we have to repeat this pattern in each chain two space all the way around. Round number four, we have to make slip stitch into the chain three space. And now into that chain first, chain of three as a first double crochet. Now we have to make four more double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then chain of three, and then four more double crochets into the same chain three space. One, two, three. And four. Now into the chain one space we have to work single crochet and into the chain three space we will work again four double crochets one. Two, three, and four, chain of three, and another four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet into the chain one space again. And now we have to repeat in our pattern all the way around. So in each chain three space, four double crochets, chain three, and then four double crochets into the chain one space, one single crochet, and we have to make this all the way around. Now we've got the last one around, round number five. Uh, we have to make slip stitch in each stitch until we will in our chain free space. So at the beginning of, at the end of our round I've done slip stitch into the first double crochet so now I've done to the next three double crochets and now I am into chain free space. Chain of three as a first double crochet now we have to make another one so second now chain of three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the first chain. So we will work picot and then two more double crochets into the same chain free space. One and two. Now chain of five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round. Chain of five again. One, two, three, four, five. Into the chain free space. We need to work two double crochets. One. And two. Then chain of three. Picot again, so slip stitch into the first chain. Chain of five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round. Chain of five, one, two, three, four, five. Into the chain free space again. Two double crochets. One and two, then chain of three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the first chain, two double crochets again, uh, yes, so basically I forgot, 
after picot into the after picot into the second chain free space I've done only two double crochets but we should make another two one and two and then chain of five one two three four five single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round so basically what we have to do in each chain free space we need to work two double crochets picot and another two double crochet then chain of five single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round chain of five we are going to the next chain free space two double crochets picot two double crochets and we have to repeat this pattern all the way around okay my um Snowflake is already done. I decided that in each picot I will add the small bit. Um, hopefully you will see exactly what I am doing because I am see on my camera that is problem. Maybe I will. Yeah. Now will be better. Okay. So I've got glue gun, and then I am trying to put the bit into the glue and then into the place where I've done the picot. No, as I said, it's not easy. But later on we can cut the glue anyway. And then another one. So basically you can add your bit in any place you would like to. I finished the snowflake so I've add all my beads and then I made chain of 15 and then I form a ring so our snowflake is already ready to hum. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.